Hey coders, welcome to the channel. So in the previous video we have seen that how can we find the factorial of a number using recursion and in today's video we are going to see that how can we find the nth Fibonacci number using recursion. So without wasting any time let's get started. So now let's try to understand that what is Fibonacci series. So a Fibonacci series is a series that starts with 0 and 1 means the first and the second number in a Fibonacci series are 0 and 1 and the next number in the Fibonacci series is the sum of previous two numbers. So in this case the next number will be the sum of previous two numbers which are 1 and 0. So the next number will be 1. And now the next number will be 2 as 1 plus 1 is 2 and the next number will be 3 as 2 plus 1 is 3 and in this way the next number will be 5 and then 8 and this series goes on forever till infinity. So in today's video we are going to make a method let's name that method fib and this method will take an argument let's name the argument n and this method will return the nth number in this Fibonacci series so it will take an integer argument n and it will return the nth number in this Fibonacci series so to write that in code we will need some reference so what or how can we find the nth Fibonacci number so to find the nth Fibonacci number we can reference this as the nth Fibonacci number is also equal to the n minus 1 n minus 1 th Fibonacci number plus n minus 2 th Fibonacci number so what this statement means so it means that the nth Fibonacci number is equal to the n minus 1th Fibonacci number plus n minus 2th Fibonacci number. So let's take an example. So let's say this n is 6th. So we want the 6th Fibonacci number. So the n minus 1th Fibonacci number will be 5th and n minus 2th Fibonacci number will be fourth so we have to add this fifth and fourth Fibonacci number so the fourth Fibonacci number is 2 and the fifth Fibonacci number is 3 so when we will add 3 and 2 so this will give 5 and which is the sixth Fibonacci number so in this way we can find Fibonacci number So now let's see that how a function can calculate or evaluate the nth Fibonacci number. So our function must have some basic information and that basic information is it knows that the first Fibonacci number is 0 and the second Fibonacci number is 1 and it knows that the nth Fibonacci number is the nth minus 1 Fibonacci number plus nth minus 2 Fibonacci number. So this is the basic information that our function has. So now let's see that how our function can evaluate the nth Fibonacci number. So let's say our function has to evaluate the fifth Fibonacci number. So it knows that the fifth Fibonacci number is the sum of the fourth Fibonacci number and the third Fibonacci number and he don't knows the fourth or the third Fibonacci number so he will uh, again make a recursive call to itself so to find the fourth Fibonacci number he knows that the fourth Fibonacci number is uh, the fourth Fibonacci number is third Fibonacci number plus the second Fibonacci number now our function knows that the second Fibonacci number is 1 but he don't know the third Fibonacci number so it will again make a recursive call 
so it will be third Fibonacci number will be the second Fibonacci number plus the first Fibonacci number and it's three also here so let's also draw it down here and our uh, function knows that the third Fibonacci number is the second Fibonacci number plus the first Fibonacci number so now our function knows the second first second here second here and first here so our function knows all these Fibonacci numbers so now it will ripple up and it will uh, give the information to the upper level so the second Fibonacci number here is 1 and the first Fibonacci number here is 0 so it will return 1 to here as 1 plus 0 is 1 so the third Fibonacci number will be 1 and he knows that the second Fibonacci number is also 1 so it will return 1 plus 1 2 here so now the fourth Fibonacci number is 2 so we he know this four, fourth Fibonacci number is 2 and now here the second Fibonacci number is 1 and the first Fibonacci number is 0 so the third Fibonacci number will be 1 as 1 plus 0 so the third Fibonacci number is 1 and now the fifth Fibonacci number will be 2 plus 1 so in this way our function can evaluate the nth Fibonacci number so we can give any number here and our function will calculate the nth Fibonacci number so now let's see that how can we implement that in code so let's first make a method fib and this method will take an argument n and let's print pass here for instance and let's call this method we will say print Fibonacci of let's say I want the fifth number so it will print the Fibonacci fifth Fibonacci number so let's define our method let's remove this pass and we have talked about it before that our function must have some basic information and that basic information was that our computer knows that the first uh, Fibonacci number is 0 and the second Fibonacci number is 1 so let's say if n equal equal 1 means if someone is asking for the first Fibonacci number then in that case this will return 0 and l if n is equal equal 2 means if someone is asking for the second Fibonacci number then in that case we will return 1 and the third information that our function must have is that it should know that nth Fibonacci number is equal to n minus 1th Fibonacci number plus n minus 2th Fibonacci number so if none of these if, uh, if statements are true then we will return Fibonacci of n minus 1 plus Fibonacci of n minus 2 so this statement means the same as Fibonacci of n is equal to n minus 1 Fibonacci plus n minus 2 Fibonacci so our method is complete and let's try to run our method so let's run this code and yeah it's showing us 3 means it is working and what this method is doing if someone ask if someone is asking for the first Fibonacci number then this method will return 0 and if someone will ask for the second Fibonacci number then it will return 1 and if someone is asking for a Fibonacci number which is larger than second then it will return Fibonacci n minus 1 plus Fibonacci n minus 2 which will make a recursive call to this Fibonacci function and finally it will give us our result.
so in this way our function works so let's try to find one more Fibonacci number and let's say I want the 10th Fibonacci number so let's run this code and this shows 34 and it is working so our method is complete if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like the video and if you have any doubts then you can comment down below i will surely reply to all your comments and thank you for watching the video